friend I brought gifts. A shower of flowers, compliments of Drebin. And a little something extra for me. Anybody want some of this bubbly? That's <laughs> what so I would have been like. <laughs> Hands down, Monkey, best character in the game. Monkey with the disco diaper. Oh, he got his arms back. <laughs> it's mini riding. Jack, how are you feeling? Do you mind if I sit down? Jack. Don't shut me out. I need you to listen to me. What do you want? You come to laugh at me? Oh, no. Look. Look at the boy. <laughs> the nigga ain't got a name. <laughs> Look at the boy, damn it. He's yours. I don't have any kids. He's yours. 
your son. You said miscarriage. I lied. I had a healthy baby boy. Roy pretended to be my husband. To protect me. And our son. Only until you completed your mission. To shield us from Patriot eyes. What? He didn't even tell Meryl. He sacrificed everything. Even his family. To protect us. I don't believe it. I'm sorry, Jack. I wanted to tell you. So he's really... John, aren't you going to say hello? My son. Little John. <gasps> Scared of me, huh? I don't blame you. It's okay. Scare. I think you're cool. Kinda like a comic book superhero. Why is my dude wearing a fucking sailor shirt? <laughs> Mini writing. Rose. I want to actually figure it. Mini writing. I'm done running. I'm gonna play as a game starring Minnie Raiden. No longer afraid. I'll never leave you alone again. I just like how they gave that nigga arms back again. I would have been like, yo, I cut my motherfucking arm off. And then the other one was broken. Then they gave his motherfucking arm back again. I'm like, yo, real arm here, nigga. Real arm. Say that. You're no beast. You're my husband. A real nigga. And his father. And me. I'm going to do my very best to be the wife and mother this family deserves. <laughs>
has changed. Our time has ended. Our war is over. But there's one more thing I must do. Niggas like last punishment I must endure. Let me just chillax for a little bit, you know. Real nigga status. My jeans. Wipe this meme from the face of the earth. This is my final mission. At that moment, all the fanboys cried. Cried tears of tears of sweet, sweet misery. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, nothing beats a uh, drink, fucking. Reminds me of the uh, I didn't know the shop right. theme from uh, I Ocarina of so Time, Majora's Mask. Is it? Is it a Majora's Mask? I don't know. So to just agree with the nanos better. <laughs> the nano machines break down alcohol before it has a chance to get you drunk. So that explains it. No need to hold back anymore, huh? Yeah, well. It ain't all sunshine and rainbows. A lot of folks lost their entire sense of being the moment SOP went offline. You mean SOPS? I heard some people are going through withdrawals. SOP syndrome. Yep. SOP kept more than just alcohol under control. Those poor slobs are virtually naked now. From what I hear, over 10% are showing symptoms. I guess getting rid of the Patriots won't solve all our problems overnight. You, uh, probably already suspected this, but I'm not actually an employee of AT Security. Uh huh? The Patriots raised me to be a gun locker. <laughs> the Patriots? My earliest memories are of the LRA. They kidnapped me, forced me to fight. Yep, you're staring at a former child soldier. My parents, brothers and sisters, all killed in the war. Guess that makes me what you call a war orphan. After that, the Patriots picked me up and brought me into the family business. I was Drebin, number 893. There's a whole lot of pawns like me all over the world. 
How do you suppose I laundered guns like I did? <laughs> Cause they let me. In fact, I was under strict orders to back you guys from the start. You what? Hey, man. Don't take it personal. I wasn't the only one under their orders. Huh? Huh. Meryl and... They probably never realized it themselves, but... Rat Patrol Team Zero One. Obviously, Liquid's plot was a threat to the Patriots. So they planned to have you guys take care of it. Didn't turn out quite how they planned, though, did it? Yeah, well, I don't think they expected you to crash their system and wipe them out. So, does that mean you're out of a job now? <laughs> Are you kidding? I got the dreaded. All the Drebbins in the world are in on it. From now on, we're in business for ourselves. We are pawns no more. Easy there. The White House might have lost its taste for unilateralism, started to rebuild. But there's a lot of failed states out there that went bankrupt from their PMC habits, and they owe a shitload of money. Now, only question is, who's gonna pick up the tab? I'm sure these new governments will try and keep it under control with PMC corporate reform laws, but it ain't gonna be good enough. They all sunk up to their eyeballs in the war economy. Might not be a new world order, but the old order under the war economy is gone for good. I'm guessing the U.N. is going to be more important than ever, what with multilateralism, you know. A certain president said it best back during the Cold War. For in the development of this organization rests the only true alternative to war. Then again, the U.N. itself is just an old 20th century relic. And if you think about it, when you look at its history, it ain't that different from the Patriots. Ah, uh, that's right. The nano machines used to keep you sober. Crush. Mix. Burn. Repeat. Hey, Uncle Hal. Can I give him the Mark III? Huh? He's kinda a new friend. <laughs> he lives near here. We can't understand each other's language, but we're having fun. <laughs> He's my very first outside friend. <laughs> really? That's great. 